to obey all the commands I have given you. Hey, Bouncy. Oh, hi, Dot. You're reading the Bible again. Is that the book of Matthew? Yeah, I just read about how Jesus came back to life. But then it just kind of stopped. The story's over. I thought it would be more like happily ever after. Oh, Bouncy, it is ever after. For Jesus' disciples, it was the beginning, not the end. Jesus told his disciples to go and make more disciples. Um, Dot? Yes, Bouncy? I know the word disciple, but I don't really know it. Disciple is a word that means student or learner. You know, Jesus' followers. When someone first hears the good news about Jesus and decides they want to live like him, there's still a lot to learn. But... How are they supposed to learn? Did Jesus stay and teach them? Nope, Jesus went back to heaven with God. But his very last sentence gives a big promise. You can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Oh yeah, Jesus is with me in my heart. And with me too. Jesus goes with us as we go tell others about him as we share God's love with others, and as we teach them to obey Jesus. Jesus gives us the power to do something he did all the time. What's that, Dot? Make disciples. Jesus did do that all the time. I just read about how he spent time with his disciples every day. He hung out with them, he taught them things, he prayed with them, he showed them what God's love is like. And he showed them how to be free from sin. Exactly, Bouncy. Jesus made disciples. He taught others how to be like him. Making disciples is what he told all of us to do now. You know Hi, children. You are very, very welcome once again. Oh, wow. At this point in time, Allow me to just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, children, for always being ready for our services. Well, you cannot believe it. Right now, this is our 20th service. Can you imagine? Ever since the lockdown. 
on. And we've just been studying, learning, having fun, dancing, singing. Wow, it's just been an amazing experience. And guess what? We are still going deeper. We are getting deeper. And this is very, very exciting. I believe even God is so much overjoyed with you children. You see, God wants you to know him, to love him, to grow in your faith with him. That is why today I have a beautiful song from my other beautiful puppet friends. Wait a minute. I want you to rise up on your feet. You can feel free to dance, sing along and Reflect on that message that is going to be said in the song because it is important for us as children. Come on, let's get to praise the Lord together.
Hello family, welcome to our Vision Weekend. We are so excited that you can join us this Sunday. Let us know where you are watching from. Today is such a special Sunday because we are giving thanks to God for what he has done through us but also in us. The Bible encourages us to give thanks to God for he is good and his love endures forever. And so this morning we want to give thanks to God for what he has done over the time, over the season but also even for what he is going to do in the future. But for starters, our dear friends, I want to applaud you for always taking off time to watch our services but also the parents thank you so much for availing the internet and the data for the young people to have a great worship experience every sunday but i also want you to upload our team of volunteers that get to serve every week these guys take off their time their talents and treasures to make sure that we have a great worship experience our media team the puppeteers the facilitators and the teachers i want you to celebrate them give them a big hand of applause wherever you are we want to also remind you of who we are as Puppet Africa. In a nutshell, Puppet Africa is a team of creatives, a team to mean telling everyone about the Messiah. And that is why we are very passionate about the gospel because each and every time we envision a world where there is a puppet in every home for service. Just think about over one billion households and each family has a puppet. And that is our prayer that wherever you are in your family to have a puppet in your home for service, that you get to disciple your children, that you get to tell Bible stories using the puppets, that you get to teach biblical values using the puppets in your home and so that is our prayer we envision a world where there is a puppet in every home for service that each and every home would have a puppet for discipleship but also evangelism and it's a very big vision it's a generation of visions we pray that even the next generation of young leaders will come and be in position to even take it forward our mission is to evangelize entertain and engage and that is why through our puppet ministry which is a creative colorful fun interactive an imaginative way to present the gospel to people of all ages right from children young people but even adults and so we reach out to all these groups with the gospel using the puppets because puppets are very colorful they affect the message of the cross across every region across every race that Christ and the Great Commission is fulfilled because the Bible tells us that go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them the things that have commanded you and that is why we do evangelism because we know that it is part of the great commission but our prayer is also to disciple using puppets and that's why we go ahead and tell bible stories we go ahead and teach biblical values using the puppets because using these puppets children are able to understand and learn and memorize scripture you see the beautiful thing is that all our presentations and productions are appropriate for all ages and families and that is why our corporate philosophy which is more like our slogan is creativity for service because we use our creativity to serve people but also to serve God and that is why at Puppet Africa we teach okay we teach and train people to use puppets in the skill and art of puppetry at all ages children young people and adults but we also dress design and create puppets and so you can purchase a puppet from us we sell these puppets that are readily available but we also make puppet stages all kinds of puppet stages they are very portable that you can use everywhere at any period of time where you want to minister but most importantly we also minister using the puppets we go out and produce excellent productions that we minister and use to present the gospel of Jesus Christ to children and we've seen many come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ honestly God has been good to us but we also know that God has been good to you and over time we've been able to train over 440 children and youth workers across East Africa with some of our recent trainings that happened last year in Kenya in the areas of Nyeri Embu, Nakuru and Nairobi but we've also done training there in Uganda in Kampala we've trained some of the children workers at All Saints Cathedral we've trained some of the children workers at Kampala Baptist Church we've trained some of the staff of Victoria schools we've done training with some of the students of Asifiwe International Academy but the other thing is that we get to reach out to averagely 47 schools across the year and we get to serve and minister over 19,000 students and children throughout and last year we saw over 3,640 young people come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ and God has been faithful. And you see the beautiful thing is that this is our 20th service ever since the lockdown began even throughout the quarantine season 
and God has been faithful. We've had over thousands of people that get to watch our services, both on YouTube and Facebook, but we've also had lots of salvation. Some children have come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ through our services. But the other part of it is that lots of testimonies are coming in. And so I want to thank you. Thank you for being faithful with watching our services. But the other part is that thank you for the feedback. Your feedback encourages us to go on and still serve, even amidst the difficult and challenges that we get to face. And so there are lots of things that are coming up. One of them is that we are organizing a Zoom children's service. We would love to interact with the young people face to face as we see them online. And so parents plan to make that available and possible. But the other is that we are still planning a Zoom parenting session. We have a set of facilitators that would love to encourage parents to disciple children from home and so plan to be part of that but the other most important thing is that we are organizing a puppet training and it's going to be a workshop online but the other will be a live one and so plan 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 to be part of that as well and most importantly we are also planning to bring out a dvd and also a material that is going to resource the church the resource the body of christ and children workers on how they can serve and minister better using the puppets lots of techniques in there but also just to have a vibrant children's ministry this is how you can be part of this god vision first and foremost pray for us pray for laborers that laborers will come that god will send the laborers in the vineyard and be part of this journey but the other is that pray for wisdom pray for strength that god will empower us to continue serving and each and every time that we will be fresh and will have the wisdom will have the understanding of god and be able to serve in and out of season but the other part of it is that we'd love you to join our team. If you are talented with the media, if you are talented in every area, you could be skilled in anything, you could even have time and you don't know what you're good at. Come and join our team, we'll help you and let's serve together and reach out to more. But the other part of it is that feel free to give. Be generous with your resources. Ministry needs a lot of resources. And so I'd love you to give financially, okay? Give to the work of ministry. Give a gift and God will surely bless you but the other most important thing is that in case you have any space in case you have any land our prayer is that we'll start a puppet academy which is a resource or a hub which is a facility where people will be trained in the art in the skill of puppetry where we'll do our construction from where we'll do our practices from where we'll do our trainings from where we'll do everything from and so if you have any piece of land if you have any space and you're willing to give of it we'll be so glad and serve God together otherwise we love you God bless you. We are looking forward to hearing from you. And so get ready for what has been happening and some of the highlights that have been happening throughout this time, but even throughout this year so far. God bless you. I love you all. Be blessed. Well, children, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe you have heard all that has been said about Puppet Africa. See, we want you to get to know about Puppet Africa so that everywhere you go, you are going to be our ambassadors in school. I mean, everywhere you go, even if you get out of Uganda, anywhere, you will tell people about Puppet Africa. And the other beautiful thing is that as you talk to your parents, be nice to them, they will also be able to get you your own puppet. Can you imagine when you have a puppet that looks like me, me, me brown? <laughs> that will be so amazingly great. Well, the other thing is never, never forget to keep us in prayer. Every time you're praying, please pray that God will always allow and grant that we have a wonderful experience in our Sunday services. That is so important. And when you pray, God hears you and he grants all that you have prayed for. So children, thank you, thank you so much. Well, next Sunday, it's gonna be great. We are going to come back powerful with different topics to learn, music to dance to, and quite a lot of amazing things that we have for you. Well, as for me, Brown, I want to say bye-bye and have a lovely Sunday.